Hello, it's Sarah. I am back. I have, these are actually the envelopes I will be sending in to the mail art swap that I'm in. It's um, over at Art and Sassy. It's, we had to make five envelopes and it was a beach theme, four by six or bigger envelopes. And I had shown previously, I had done these envelopes, this one, I like this mixed media one I did. Um, I did the seashells on here. I done, these are just plain old um, white envelopes that you get at Michael's, that uh, the Recollections brand, and I had done these. And I did these. These were a uh, mixed media attempt at some beach themed envelopes. And I really did not like these the way they turned out. So, Mary leaves a message, a comment on one of my videos. She's going to Michael's and she's going to get some mixed media paper and make her own envelopes with her envelope punch board. And I was like, well, I have the envelope punch board. Why am I not doing this? And so I did. I went, I had, actually last week Michael's had a coupon for 40% um, off all of your, um, I guess it's uh, art pads, art pads and things like that. This is 350, it's only 10 sheets. They're nine by 12 and it's only 90 pound watercolor paper. So it's cold press, it's just a thinner um, texture, but it really worked well for envelopes. So I bought like four of these and I got five bucks off with my 40% um, off coupon. Anyway. These are my envelopes. So I made these. These are, um, this is the measurement. I made them to A6 size for, that would fit an A6 card. So the card would be four and a half by six and a half, but the envelope, uh, whatever. That's just the sizes that you cut the paper to because I wanted to get the most out of that nine inches. So, and I like the size. This side, let's see if this is the actually, it's a tad smaller than the ones like about a half an inch on both sides almost so that was good so anyway so these are them and I ended up watercoloring the whole thing so this is my first one and she's my um, I used my kiddos my three kiddos that I had used originally my surfer kiddo my sandcastle kiddo and my hula kiddo and then I use these stamps these are um, uh, lawn fawn stamps and I have this is called Sunny Skies. I use the sun and the clouds. Um, I think this is called Critters in the Sea. Yep, Critters in the Sea. And this one I just got. I just ordered this. Life is good. because I, And I'd been looking at this and thought, I'm just going for it. Because I, I knew it had the sandcastle and all these sea beach things, you know. So I used those. And then this is what I came up with. So I did a little drawing on here to get the, the scenery. I practiced and played a little bit. I have... The first one I made was much smaller and I didn't put the ocean, I just put the sand. I mean, it's perfectly cute, you know, and I put him on the back. But then when I got my other, um, the other stamp set, the Life is Good stamp set, I just, I'll, ch I'll show you. But um, I used my Stella on the water on this one. I did a little, um, I, I used the uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic um, for, it's a glossy accents look to it. I did that for the water. Um, I'm loving this for my sand, the Distress Stickles, the Vintage Photo, I'm al almost out of it. I've used it on all my sand, but it really is a nice um, sand effect, and it's like kind of glittery. And then I just stamped, and I added stickles on some of my other areas, on her little bathing suit, on the sun and clouds. And then I just watercolored everything, and I'm, li I'm loving, this color is called Ripe, per per uh, wait a minute, I'll find it. Ripe persimmon, I think it's called persimmon. Wait a minute. Um, anyway, but when you add that on top of the, the yellow, it makes it like a beautiful. Here it is, I think. Oh no, spiced. That's not spiced marmalade. Damn it! Why can't I find it? Anyway, I want to say it's called ripe persimmon because it's got a. It's like an orangey pink color. Um, and it just makes the sky have this little hint of pink, so I've been playing with that. So that's the front of this one, and then I put my little surfer guy on the back. And did the same thing. So that's one. Then this is my hula girl. And I tried to keep them so that, um, now see, I, see how the yellow just went down much further on this one? 
I don't love that, but I couldn't really blend it out anymore. I, I kind of, I think on this one, I went in with the yellow with the marker instead of using um, a palette and like watering it down first. So I was just, I'm still kind of learning and playing with the markers. And um, so on this side, I didn't do that. I mean, it's a lot lighter. And I really played with, on the Hula Girl, I played with the other stamp set. This is the Life is Good stamp set. And I just did the palm trees and, you know, just put a few beachy things. And I just drew my lines to make the hill. So that's the back of that one. That just has a very bright sunshine on it. And she's just a little Hula Girl doing her Hula thing. And this one has my Surfer Boy. He's the center stage one here. I put the little crab on the front and put... The dimensional magic on him to make him shiny. I shined up his surfboard and stickled up the ocean. Definitely, I love the distress stickles on the beach. It just looks so cute. Oh, I was going to say, I tried to leave instead of putting a sticker. I was putting stickers. Like, this is one of the first ones I did. I was putting stickers still as a, an address spot, which I like. I mean, I don't hate it. And I put classified and snail mail on there. But because these were watercolor, I thought I just wanted to leave it as kind of just as a piece of art rather than adding any like extra stamping to it so this one then i started to leave a space that you could just write your address in so i just didn't do any stamping in there some of them i got a little close like i mean these these three are actually really good with space to write on um but yeah so that's the back and you could still write like a return address on there and this is my fourth one this is just using the Life is Good, all the stamps in that, so it's just the beach. Um, I, ch I changed up the sand color too, like in this I was using Vintage Photo, which I like, but then I started using, I think this might be raw, li not raw linen, um, burlap, frayed burlap, I think. I just wanted to make it a little lighter. Still trying to leave a little space to write, but I sometimes I went up higher with the water on this one. Um, in the back, I just put the lighthouse and some more of the stamps from that set. Such a cute set. I can't wait to make a card with that. Um, so these are, this is another beach theme. So let's see, that's four. Then this one I redid. This was, originally I had done it in the paper, with the paper. I'm trying to find it. So it's a total redo of this one, but with the watercolor paper. I put the cloud right here, so that's kind of in the way of where you would write your name. And it also doesn't really say beach. It's more of an ocean. I mean, there's really no beach on here. It's just like an underwater scene. So I switched that up and I'll show you what I did. But um, I mean, still cute and I'll still probably use it. This is not quite dry, so I'll put this is the back first. Um, but see how I just threw that little piece of beach in there? and then just put the whale on this side. And the stickles is still a little wet, so I don't wanna mess that up, oops. And then this is the front. So I just put the sea turtle on the beach, um, a couple of shells, and a dolphin like jumping in the ocean. So it's a little more beachy, but it's with the um, critters, in, critters in the Sea stamp set. So, cause I, I really like this one, but it's just, I really didn't think it said beach as much as this one. This definitely says beach more cause you can see the beach. So, uh, and then I just put the whale on the back and the little crab again. So those are my five envelopes. These are going to the swap. I had a messy time of it. I'll tell you, um, it is not easy getting all the stamping done. I, I am just a messy stamper, I guess, but I tend to get ink all over the place. Um, I mean, they don't look too bad. I try to to scrub it off as best I could, but um, I hope, I think someone's going to like these. I really love them. Mary, thank you so much for your brilliant idea. Um, I might have to make another hula girl because that might just be too yellow for me. Um, <laughs> um, you know, YouTube is great, and you guys are always you inspire me just as much as I hope I inspire you. So um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.